Tonight we have part two of my interview with Amber Lewandowski, the daughter of Jan Lewan. Tonight she talks more about the movie, The Polka King, featuring her father's story, and it premieres this Friday on Netflix. So now we come to today, and now this movie on Netflix is going to be released on Friday. I said to you, does this now bring all the memories back? Does it start up the talking again? You know, are people saying things to you? What's the reaction that you get now because this movie's coming out? Well, now that like this famous movie star is playing my dad, you know, it's actually more of like a positive uh, kind of reinforcement, but it's still for me very, very bittersweet because it does bring back a lot of old wounds that still haven't fully healed yet, just from everything that happened. And it's still awesome because it's something that we could look back on forever, that there is a movie and the outcome, it was what it was. But I always say, don't forget why the movie is here. We struggled as a family to make the movie happen, in a sense. And I know people are saying, well, what about the victims? They struggled because of what happened to them. So. What are you hearing about that right now? Um, you know, that it is what it is. It happened. We cannot change that. You know, my dad has apologized up and down. He has served and done his time. There is not much more that he can do. Um, it's a terrible thing that happened. But I think the only thing that we can do is, is move forward and maybe look on a, on a more positive note on how to move forward. So now, the movie Jack Black playing your dad. What was your reaction when you heard the choice for the man who would play him? And I was kind of surprised at first, but you said he really fell into character perfectly. He did. I was also surprised at first. I'm like, really, Jack Black? He's like this funny guy, you know, School of Rock, Tenacious D <laughs> type. Um, but then when we actually saw some of the filming, I was super impressed. He got the accent like down to a T. He did not come out of character once. I actually felt like I was watching, you know, my dad on stage. He really, really portrayed him well. And I don't think I can see anyone else really portraying him the way that he did. Now, The Polka King is based on the 2007 documentary film, The Man Who Would Be Polka King. We will talk with the man behind that documentary tomorrow right here on SSPTV News.